This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course, and we've been slowly building out, well, this game. We got platforms, we got a star that drops, and a background. Our background switches, but not yet. Um, if yours doesn't have all that, go back and do the other parts of this lesson. Let's see what we're doing. Make your second item. Next, copy and paste the code for your first item to create a second item. Remember that this is a lot easier in text mode. Text mode's over here, switch. So be sure to try it out if you haven't already. You'll need to copy two parts of your code. The part at the beginning where you made the item and the part in your loop item function where you looped the item back to the top of the screen. Copy the code you created using the first item sprite, create sprite, set animation, and velocity y, and paste it directly beneath the original, all right? For example, if you named your original sprite star, you could name it star 2. Yep, got it. So, oops, show text. And then where's our item here? I named mine star, just like they said. And so I'm going to right-click on it and click copy. And then I'm going to right-click and click paste. You could also do control V, control C for copy, control V for paste. And then I need to name it, change the name of it. So it is going to need a new name for the variable. So this item is going to be variable name star 2, but we have to leave the animation as star because this it refers to its animation here, and it's going to have the same animation. Okay. And since it's random, we can leave this stuff the same. It will spawn at a different point. It won't be on top of the other one. Usually it's very unlikely. Change the names. Yep, we did that. Inside your loop items function, copy the if statement, then paste it directly underneath the original code. Zoop to the bottom. I'm going to highlight all this. I'm going to right click it, copy, and then I'm going to right click, paste. And now I just need to, oh, I need this all to be star two because our new variable for this animation is star two. Okay. Change the sprite name in the new lines of code. Yep, and we already run this, so if you don't have that, this part of your function, if you don't have the loop items function yet, go back to the last lesson. If you're confused on it, watch my tutorial. Let's try this out. Ooh, they're super close right now, though. But they won't always be, right? Because they randomly get different numbers each time their x goes above, or their y goes above 415, so that's somewhere down here. Yeah, there we are. Awesome. So, we are good to go. Great.